Hi folks, so it is me again. <laughs> I got really excited about starting the experiment. I did some uh, energy healing work. I'm feeling very buzzy. So I decided to go out and spend that $20 on tickets, which I have right here. Yeah, scratchies, cosmic scratchies. <laughs> again, I'm not promoting gambling, random gambling. We're using this exercise because a scratchy is an immediate way the matrix of reality can reflect back to me where my money manifesting mojo is actually sitting. Like I could be thinking and dreaming and hoping and guessing and believing I'm manifesting uh, fast money, but the scratchy is going to actually show me where my energy is at. And that is the best way for me to see what is actually like freaking manifesting, not what I guess or dream or believe or get all huffy and puffy about, think is actually going to happen. And I'm feeling like this is a good time because I'm sharing this on one level. If I lose, if I just lose all this money, I'm going to be able to go into the feelings more about what comes up for me around the concept of losing and explain this idea that's really important in, it's not even just in manifestation, it's about how you approach and tackle life, which is don't believe the illusion until you like it. Because basically reality is an illusion and if you believe the illusion, like, oh, I'm a loser, then you kind of succumb to the illusion. But if you go, okay, right now, the illusion is reflecting back to me that I'm a loser, but I don't have to believe that. I don't have to now limit my life based on something that's being reflected back at me. Instead, I'm going to go into the energy. I'm going to work with the energy. I'm going to start shifting that framework. I'm a loser. I'm whatever level it's sitting. It could be a belief. It could be the emotion I feel around it. So as I'm sitting here about to do these scratchies, I've got some excitement. I've got probably some worry that, hey, I'm showing all the world <laughs> this stuff where I'm about to like lose money in front of like people who are my clients, potential clients, <laughs> friends, you know, people that I tell about this magic or, you know, this manifestation work and then I'm just going to like lose. <laughs> front of everybody so yeah so there's gonna be a little bit of uh but i did work through some of that that's why i felt like okay i'm ready to go ahead and just get the freaking scratchies and move forward with this experiment because that's what you've got to do whenever you're pushing a comfort zone eventually you've just got to take action and see what happens but the trick is whatever happens don't believe the illusion until you like it like you've got to keep going like if you go out there, like my friend who's a stand-up comedian, Vicky, went on America's Got Talent. Some of her sets were great. Some of them she felt like she struggled. But still, it's like don't believe the illusion until you like it. You just keep going. You just keep moving forward. You don't stop because you have some uncomfortable feelings. So I might like get like really uncomfortably embarrassed now because I don't win any money after building it all up <laughs> with the counting of the coins. Make sure you go back to the first episode in the series of what I did to um, to build up the energy around money because that's that's important so basically now I've gone out I've spent $20 on scratchies and I'm not necessarily going to scratch all of them right now just want you to know that because again I'm going to be feeling into my reactions and when I start coming up with a lot of resistance I'm going to go away and I'm going to work on that. I'm not just going to keep moving forward because that's the whole trick. Like doing the same thing over and over, if you haven't worked with the energy to shift it, that's kind of, you know, insanity. But being persistent when you see how the world is reflecting back at you, you work with the energy and then you go back out with new energy, that's what starts making things look like magic right so any endeavor you're going to do and this is for me an experiment in energy uh, you have to have persistence people i mean that's that's the thing don't believe the illusion until you like it so i've got these scratches here i've got this ten dollar one big 
big expenditure, but that one kind of caught my eye. Maybe it was the green. I got these other ones. I got a $5 one, a $2 one, a $3 one. And, you know, just in case people want to get all, like, if I do win some money, I just want to show these, these, uh, these, uh, barcodes. So people want to be like, well, like, she already had some winning tickets and then, like, substituted them. If I do win, then there is some kind of <clears throat> thing. Now, I'm sitting with these. I mean, really just wants to do the $10 one. I think I'm just going to do the $10 one because that's, I, I feel, I feel I want to do it. And because I spent the most on it, I'm going to have the most attachment about it if I don't lose any money and if I lose on it, and that's going to help reveal resistance. Now, personally, I would like to take my time with this. Like I like to get some value out of the actual experience. Like most people just, like I see people go and they get these and they, they don't even scratch them off. They don't even have any fun with them. They just go up and check and see if they want anything. Well, like what's the, what's the freaking point? You know, I've bought this to have an experience. Um, so like enjoy the experience. I like to really draw it out. So with this one, it's loaded with $600 prizes. Like this isn't even that big a ticket. It's not like, ah, money for life. But it just says it's loaded with $600 prizes. So why not? So I got the winning numbers up here and I got my numbers. So I always like to scratch off the winning numbers. Just kind of vibe into the whole thing. <laughs> Get some value out of it. Try and stretch this scratchy out for as much entertainment as I can get out of it, right? Because why not? Like, this is the whole thing of like just experiencing life. So I've got my winning numbers here. And yeah, well, they're there. Okay, winning numbers are there. And then what I like to do now is I like to scratch off the bottom part of the your numbers bit. So first of all, I just see where the prize money is, right? And before I start scratching off the actual numbers, I really like to draw this out. <laughs> you know, turn this cheese on a cracker into it like a three course meal because life is about, you know, enjoying things, savoring it. So I'm scratching all this. There is a $600 prize here. Oh, there's another $600 prize. Okay, there's a few 25ers whatever and had a bit of a cold so excuse the sniffling so now uh okay so now i've revealed all the numbers all the prize amounts but i haven't done the numbers yet dun 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 so now what i like to do to stretch it out is i like to start with the lowest prizes and scratch those off first so the lowest one it looks like i've got a like a 20 no, there's a 10. So I'm going to start with the 10, and the number of the 10 is 7, which I don't have as a winning number. So now I'm going to do the next last prize, which is 20, and that is a 1. And because I've still got quite a few numbers to go, I don't feel any angsty attachment at this point. Here's another 20. I'll do that one. And I've got 38 which is a big lose, and another 20 here. And I've got a 28 now starting to lose. So I'm just gonna sit with that feeling, like I feel a little, mm, maybe this isn't that great. I'm just gonna sit with that feeling and kind of love and accept it. Love and accept the part of me that's feeling a bit depressed now. <laughs> this is all about getting comfortable with the uncomfortable feelings. And I'm gonna scratch off the next number. Just for the twenty-five dollars, that's thirty-six. Okay, another twenty-five, -er. and that is for that's a number nine. No, no match there. Okay, now I got a forty. That's a six, and oh, there's another twenty-five, and that is for twenty-three. No, still no matchy. Still no matchy. Okay, 40, 
Okay, now we're going into the 50s. 29. No, no, no. And I'm starting to feel more of a dropping energy. <laughs> But at the same time, I've been doing all the lower numbers. So but I'm just going to feel that dropping energy for a moment. Um, you know, and I hear that sort of mental voice, like I'm a loser, I'm going to lose. So I'm just going to be with the energy of all of that. Okay, now just keep going. 50, no, 20 is the number, is 25, and, okay, now I can move on to the $100, there's an 8, nope, yeah, I'm, now I'm really, I'm going to stop again, because I'm really feeling, like, hopeless, <laughs> so let me just sit with <laughs> the feeling of the hopelessness. Okay, and I'm kind of rushing through this a little bit because I've only got 15 minutes of these videos. 19, no. And 100, no. Oh, there's another 40 there. 26, no. And there's another 50 there. 22, no. 32, no, no, I'm scratching a 200 prize, I've got 27, no, no I'm doing one of my 600s, no, okay, so I'm down to the last 600, the last one, it's obviously not looking that good, <laughs> Now, again, because I use money I have no attachment to, I can feel pretty, like, funny about this. But I'm just going to sit with the energy of I'm really sitting with this kind of feeling of hopelessness. So, and this is what the mind will do. It will swing you between positivity and negativity. Like, oh, I'm excited to do this. Oh, now it feels really hopeless. And this is, like, one of the mind's traps is to keep you swinging from positive to negative and if you just go oh I'm happy I'm sad I'm happy I'm sad but you don't really sit with the energy that's in those states you you, you can't integrate them to try something new okay I've only got two minutes to wrap this up so now I'm going to scratch off the last 600 and the number is 21 okay so I did not win on this card and I am going to post the video but before I move on to other cards, I'm actually going to really go away now and I'm going to sit with what this card is reflecting at me, which is I took a big bet. I took $10 of my $20. I made a big bet and I lost. And that doesn't feel very good, right? I really kind of put it out there and I didn't feel very, and, and, and I quote unquote lost. And, um, you know, I think we can all relate to those feelings when we take a chance on something, take a gamble, like if you're an entrepreneur or you, you, you know, you design a product and you put it out there and nobody wants it or you <clears throat> go out on stage and you perform and nobody laughs. You know, I took a big bet. I was excited about it. I felt really good about it. And then I lost. So now this is what the illusion is saying. You took a big bet and you lost. You're a loser. And I can choose to believe that illusion or not and keep moving forward. So I'm now going to take these other cards. I'm not going to work with these cards until I clear up that energy. So I'm going to actually put these cards on my <laughs> money magnifying mirror, which is, is what I did last year. And I'm going to sit with the energy of this losing card um, until I feel better. And then I'm going to try again. But I'm not going to give up. I'm just looking at what the illusion is reflecting back at me and going, how does this make me feel emotionally? And again, go to my website, circleevolution.com, get their free ebook to find out why this part of the process is actually really important. Okay, bye.